Hi, everyone. Gather around. Chibi Maruko-chan is about to start. Party in the attic of our house. That looks like so much fun. Hey, Tamachan, look at this photo right here. Huh? They're putting on a Christmas party in their attic. Golly, how wonderful! It sure seems cool to have an attic, doesn't it? I wish I had an attic in my house. That'd be so awesome. I long for it so very much. Just imagine all those stars peeking through the cute window. Yeah, but it's impossible to have a party in an attic in Japanese homes. Mm, it'll just remain a dream. Well, I've got an attic space in my house. It's pretty big, so half of it is empty right now. Yeah? I've got a great idea, Homaji. Let's have a Christmas party in your attic. Huh? Have a Christmas party? I'm home. Hey, Mom, listen to this. I think we're all going to have a Christmas party at Hamaji's place this year. Huh? Apparently, there's a big attic at Hamaji's. We're going to see if we can use it. Won't that cause trouble for Hamazaki's family? Nah, we're not going to cause trouble for anybody, Mom. Not if we bring the food ourselves. So, would you do that, please, Mom? Huh? You want to put on a Christmas party in our attic? What on earth were you thinking telling those kids it would be fine? Please understand. Having an attic is the coolest thing ever with the stars and whatnot. It most certainly is not cool. You just misinformed them. We'll be a laughing stock if they come over to that dirty place. I forbid it. Oh, Mom, come on. I'll beg. Please. Uh, please. You know I dislike it when you nag. All right, go on. Suit yourself. <gasps> Thanks so much, Mom. What? Really? She gave permission? Hooray! Please thank your mom for me, Hamaji. <laughs> I'm so excited. Christmas, 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 Christmas. Hey, sis. Hmm? We're going to have a Christmas party at Hamaji's place. He's got a big attic upstairs. Really? Hamaji's place is so fashionable. I'm jealous. Yoshiko's bedroom is in the attic, and it looks super fancy. She said her favorite thing to do is look at the stars through her telescope at night. That sounds amazing. Why do I get the feeling that our lives will never be that good? You're right. I think the best that we can hope for is to be reincarnated into a richer family. Well, my plan is to just find a really rich guy and marry him for his money. The next day. Come by my house around 2 o'clock today. Butaru's gonna come too. Cool. Butaro's coming as well, huh? Hi, beautiful people. Uh -huh. Someone told me you're having an attic Christmas party today. Mm. That's so fashionable. Why don't you join the party, Hanawa? Yeah, come on. Let me just think. I do have some free time today, and it would be nice to come to a party with flowers. Uh oh. I'll be totally honest with you. I'd rather you bring snacks than a bunch of flowers. <laughs> I really hate to admit this, but for once I agree with Hamaji. <laughs> wow! Look at all the yummy donuts you made, Mom! There should be enough for all of you to share, don't you think, sweetheart? Hello there, Grandpa! 
No. I'm about to go to a Christmas party. Do you think this dress looks perfect for the occasion? You're going to a Christmas party, huh? In that case... You should probably put these bad boys on. Huh? You can't go to a Christmas party without festive glasses. Hmm. Huh? You see, when you put these on and look through them, everything looks a whole lot more Christmassy. That's amazing. You look like someone really important when you put those on, Grandpa. Huh? Seriously? You look like Socrates or Plato. They're really working for you. Maybe I'll just leave these on for a while. What do you think? Maruko, you better go, sweetheart. Oh? Uh -huh. Oh! What in blue blazes? What are you wearing those for? Uh, these? Good afternoon! Anybody home? Huh? huh? I don't see Hamaji. Uh. 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 Is it me, guys, or are there no stairs leading up to the attic here? Hey! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm up here, guys! Eh, just climb up the ladder. <laughs> For some reason, I just had something a little different in mind when I imagined his attic. Me too. You don't usually enter a western attic by climbing through a small hole in the ceiling. I really don't know why I imagine that Hamaji and his family of all people would have a nice fancy attic in his house. Maybe I should leave. <laughs> oh, hello, Hanawa. <laughs> I'm so sorry you had to come to a house like this, Hanawa. I'm sure it's nothing at all like your house, but please, climb up the ladder. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there certainly is a charm to your place. The atmosphere is interesting, at least. Come to think of it, I really love it here. Okay, do you want to swap homes, Big Shot? Please go and enjoy the attic. Oh, no. I should make my excuses and leave. Hanawa! Ew! Quick, climb up the ladder, Hanawa. You're not thinking of making some excuse and getting out of here, are you? You've already come this far, so you can't leave now. Uh, why would I want to leave? The smell in this place is great. Look at me. I'm about to climb up. Uh, 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 I've never been more pleased to do something in my whole entire life. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, so it's more of a roof space than an attic, huh? That's right. This is where we keep things that we aren't using. There's more room at the back. Don't worry. This is getting further and further from what I imagined. Me too. But I guess this is closer to reality, isn't it? Hmm. I guess. After all, this was never going to be Mary's house in America. That's right. We're in Japan, and this is Hamaji's house. Hey, guys, check out the Christmas tree. You like it? Uh, should it have that many spiders on it? I agree. Uh, uh, Anawa, did you mean to put cobwebs in your hair, boo? Not specifically, no. But if I regard them as decorations, then I might not freak out. Nobody would think of cobwebs as a Christmas decoration. You crack me up sometimes, Hanawa. I think the state of this place has made him lose his mind a bit. Not true. As much as I find these conditions deplorable, it's far better to make the effort to have fun than complain about it. Trying to have fun under any circumstances is one of the best tricks to having a fulfilling life. You're pretty enlightened considering you were born with a silver spoon in your mouth. I admire that. <clears throat> I'm going to follow your advice now. Instead of being all disappointed about Hamaji's frankly horror movie-esque attic, let's all pull together and turn it into a paradise for everybody! Yeah! <laughs> Should I tell them I already spent an hour cleaning and decorating? Come on, let's fix this dump up! The first thing we should do is move things to create a bigger space! So, what are you going to have for dinner when you get home tonight? Yesterday's leftover pork soup. I bet Hanawa's having something fancy like beef stew or something. Yeah, or a hot bowl of sukiyaki. And he's probably sitting on a rocking chair in front of a nice warm fireplace, reading an interesting book. Definitely. <laughs> huh? Am I going crazy or did you just hear Hanawa's voice coming from Hamaji's house just now? Ah, it was nothing. You just probably heard the wind. Yeah, I guess. I can't think of any reason for Hanawa uh, to be in Hamaji's house. Me neither. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Wow, this is fun. I'm getting
getting used to this place more and more. Yeah, you get used to things pretty quickly, don't you? For a moment there, huh? I was almost able to forget this table's just a moldy old cardboard box with a tablecloth on it. <laughs> you didn't forget that. It's incredible! I'm in heaven now. Oh, I can hear cheerful voices coming from the roof. Is that a new thing? Oh, hello, Grandpa. Hamaji has just invited his friends over for a Christmas party. Isn't that nice? A Christmas party here, up in the roof space. The candlelight is lovely. Mm -hmm. It really does create a wonderful atmosphere. Do you ever wonder if angels really exist? In this light, I find it easy to imagine that they do. <sighs> I feel my heart filled with happiness right now. Yeah, I feel very grateful. It's a wonderful day, Boo! It sure is. Everyone is enjoying themselves. I'm so happy. What a wonderful day. <sighs> <sighs> What's that? Hey, uh, is someone calling us? Yes, that's right. It was me. <gasps> Grandpa! Tell me this. Are you actually having fun up here? <laughs> if I were you, I would absolutely hate being in here. Why would you want to eat food in such a terrible, filthy place like this? <laughs> In this episode, Maruko writes New Year's cards. <laughs> oh, I'm so cold. I'm home. <sighs> ah, that's good. I love hot chocolate so much. I wonder who invented the most delicious drink in the whole world. Want some hot chocolate, sis? Get lost. I just don't want you near me right now. Oh, you're so mean. You're a cold person. So what are you doing? Can I have a look? Would you stop bugging me? I'm writing New Year's cards. Let me see. Happy New Year. Let's have fun in the new year. Hmm. Boring sentiment with a bad drawing. Hey, who asked you? That looks quite fun. Give me some cards. Go ask Mom for some cards. I'm going to use all of these. Send me a New Year's card. I spend every day living in the same room as you. Why on earth would I send you a card? You kidding me? Mom, Mom, give me some New Year's cards, please. So how many do you need? Give me 50. And why do you need so many of them? My social circle is really big. Stop talking nonsense, child. I'll give you 25 cards and not one more. What? 25? That's not enough. You're stingy, Mom. If it's so important, why don't you send regular postcards? That won't work. The special card with the New Year's lottery is like everyone's big gamble for the start of the year. <sighs> Fine. Suit yourself. Eh? Well, it looks like I have no choice but to borrow a brush and ink from Grandpa, then. Maybe if I doubled up on regular postcards, the thickness would make them seem better. I think the first thing I'll start with is Happy New Year. A brush with ink on it makes me nervous. Ah! The ink dripped. Ink is really the most useless thing ever. I know. I'll use the ink stain and I'll turn it into something good. <laughs> All done. Ah! Oh, I'm glad I managed to make it work. That is definitely not making it work. I can't do a good job with a brush. This is just terrible. What can I use? Man, I can't think of a single other thing. Hey there, Grandpa. Oh. Can you think of any interesting ways to write New Year's cards, Grandpa? Uh, oh. Oh. Using invisible ink is an interesting way to write New Year's cards for sure. Invisible ink? What is that, clear or something? No, not quite. You write letters using orange or apple juice and apply heat to reveal the message. All right, let's do it! So are you going to grate the apple? That's right. We need the juice that's inside of it. 
Hold it. Let me have a little taste first, okay? Oh, let me have a bite. <laughs> um. Try mine with orange juice first. Okay, I'll try mine with apple juice then. Ah, boy, that smells wonderful. Now that is a hundred percent fruit juice, all right. I'm done. I'm done as well. Oh. I hate to tell you, but I can't beat this without heating it up. No, don't look at it, Maruko. The trick is pretending you can't see it when you can. Mom! Mom! Oh, you again. What? Hello there! Uh, Mom, can I heat this up, please? This too. Uh, yeah, sure. Just be careful when you use the stove, okay? I wonder what will happen when it heats up. Yeah. I think it'll look exactly like it does now. Let your grandpa try it first. Ah, uh, that's not fair. You beat me to it, grandpa. Oh, here it comes. I can see it. It's turning an interesting color, isn't it? It smells like it's burning. Ah! It caught fire! Ah, it's a blaze! Quickly, put water on it! Huh? What are you doing? <sighs> the moon-faced woman caught fire and vanished as quickly as she came into this world. Nobody could have ever predicted that one. You two are banned from using fire. But then how are we going to perfect it? <laughs> that was no fun. Oh, well, that was a total bust, wasn't it? Is there anything else we can do, Grandpa? This kid just longs for excitement. I know. Huh? What about a potato, huh? Sure, I'm hungry again. No, not to eat. I mean to make a potato stamp. A potato stamp? Look, I swiped this when your mother was looking the other way. Excellent! What, what joy, joy! What joy! Oh, it turned out kind of lame. What shall I do? It looks weird. So, what's it meant to be, then? It's a rice cake. Oh, I see. You did a great job, kiddo. <laughs> I really want to know what Grandpa thought it was. You know it could almost be an Otimoyan, too. What's that? Is it a kind of sweet or something? Let's just make a few adjustments here and there. Good. Make sure you don't ruin it. Ta-da! Otimoyan! <laughs> Nothing's gonna turn out good if I listen to Grandpa. I just wasted two cards on this nonsense. What should I do? Ugh. I've totally lost interest in trying now. Maruko, stop lying around. Have you finished your cards? Ugh. Relax, Mom. My brain is hard at work trying to figure this thing out. Well, when you're out mailing yours, would you mind taking these and putting them in the mailbox too? Yeah, sure thing. I'll put them in my bag now. <laughs> Don't forget, okay? Yeah, yeah, you can trust me, Mom. My brain is laser beam focused on trying to figure out the problem at hand. It's a real shame that nobody can see how hard it's working from the outside. Uh, I just had the perfect idea! That's it! Hey, sis, can I borrow your felt pens? Just don't ruin them, okay? Boy, this is such a good idea! Why do I get the feeling she's just going to draw a shoe or something weird like that? It's done! A happy new year. Let's have some fun in the coming new year. Maruko, I think I'm going to use these lottery cards for people I care about, like girlfriends and nice teachers at school. And the other ones I'll use for the boys. All right, that's all of them done. Phew. I guess I should go out and mail them now. Hey, if you take the missed postcards to the post office, you can exchange them, you know. Really? I'll do that for sure. Let me check that I wrote all the addresses. Ah, uh, the card for Mr. Togawa. Gee, I don't think I did a very good job on this one. I'm just a kid. Maybe it's heartwarming. I'll go send them now. If I 
did too good a job, people might assume that I got help from my parents. If they suspected that about my homework, I'd be in big trouble. You're overthinking it. I'll just put these in the mailbox. There. You exchange blank postcards. Yeah, that's no problem. Just give me the one you don't think you're gonna use. Here. <laughs> the exchange fee is four yen. Mm -hmm. So I have to pay you four yen? Really? I don't have any money on me, sir. I think I'll just take that back and leave, okay? You okay? I don't think I've ever been more humiliated than at this very moment. Oh, boy. Two days after she mailed the postcards. Sakura-san? Huh? Thank you very much for the New Year's card that you sent me. Eh? Hey? You got yours? But how? I got the card you sent me, too. Me too, Boo. But it's not the New Year. You shouldn't have received your card yet. You guys are just teasing me. You really pulled a fast one on me, guys. Baby, huh? you see, there's something missing right here. There's no New Year's stamp, so they delivered it regular mail. You silly girl. Hey. Oh, yeah, I did make a big clown of myself, all right. Your wish for everybody you send cards to have fun will be invalid in a mere ten days. Hey. By my calculations, that means you don't want any of us to have any fun in the following year. Is that right? Admit that's what you meant. Be quiet, Maruro. How dare you? Oh, my. So what is it supposed to mean? By the way, the New Year's cards her mum asked her to mail are still sitting right there, forgotten in her handbag. And those cards of love and good wishes will remain unnoticed until five days into the New Year. <laughs>